Hi, my name is Jeremy Dahl. I'm Ashley Fabrico. And uh, we are taking general chemistry at Kapiolani Community College. Uh, for our project, we decided to make biodiesel. For this experiment, you will need a pipette, your biodiesel, isopropyl alcohol, bromothemol blue, phenothaline, a stir bar, 0 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid, along with a mixing plate. For the so soap test, the first step you're going to do is measure out 20 grams of washed biodiesel or 10 grams of unwashed. In our case, this is 20 grams because it has been washed. After that, you're going to take 10 milliliters of 0 0.01 hydrochloric acid and you're going to fill up the burette, which we have already done over here. Notice here, once we've filled the burette, there's an open space right here. So we're actually going to have to open it up to fill all of this with the air in order to get more accurate readings. As you can see, there's still a little bit in there. And there you go. Now the burette is completely filled down here as well as above. You may have to fill it a little more just to make sure you're at 10 milliliters. Okay. Then after that we are going to measure out 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we think the easiest way is to fill a graduated cylinder to 100 milliliters and then pour it into the biodiesel. So now that we have the 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol measured, we're going to pour it into the 20 grams of our washed biodiesel. Next step is we need a stir bar and a stir plate. And you will carefully put the stir bar inside of the solution and begin stirring. Next, we're going to add five drops of phenolphthalein in order to test if there's any residual catalyst inside of our biodiesel. So we added five drops. The, so the solution did not change color, uh, which means that there is no residual catalyst inside of our biodiesel. Since the ester solution did not change colors, that means there is no catalyst in our solution. If your solution does change colors, you have to add the hydrochloric acid solution until it changes back to the original color. And note that amount under A. In our case, A is going to be zero. The next step is we're going to now add 20 drops of bromothenol blue to our alcohol ester solution. So now, see the color difference after we've added 20 drops? It appears rather greenish. The next step is now we're going to add our hydrochloric acid solution into this until the solution changes color from this bluish green to a bright yellow. You want to make sure that the burette is centered nicely or over the solution so that you do not spill it and take note of how much you have to start with. In our case it is going to be zero. We added about 0.2 and you can see the color change is a very bright yellow now as opposed to that bluish green that it was originally. Each tick mark is 0.05 milliliters. We used a total of 0.15 milliliters HCl. So remember to take the final reading of your amount of HCl, record that as part B under your results. For the first part of the calculations we will figure out the residual catalyst. You simply take the amount of HCl, multiply that by the normality which happens to be the same as the molarity and then by the molecular weight of that catalyst. If you need help, refer to the instructions provided by your instructor. To figure out the amount of soap in your biodiesel, subtract 
a from the b value and then multiply that by point point zero 0.01 which represents the normality of the hydrochloric acid solution then multiply that by the conversion factor in our case it was potassium hydroxide KOH which is 320.56 then we divide that by the number of milligrams of sample ester used which is 20 grams multiplied by 1000 so we divide the total on top by 20,000. This gives us a very small number. To get the final result in parts per million we need to multiply that by 1 million and we get a final result of 24 parts per million soap.